This is a thermodynamics question from year 13. Every part of the question is on screen now. So it's a six marker calculation, pause, give it a go, and then review. Okay, so we're provided with an equation. We're given the enthalpy value, negative 60, and we've got the entropy data for each component of it. So we are going through and we're calculating Gibbs free energy, delta G, at 989 degrees C. Uh, let's take a look at where we start. Well, it makes sense to start with the table of data. Entropy change delta S is equal to the sum of the entropy of the product, take away the sum of the entropy of the reactants. So I can put that data in, you can see where it's come from, and you can see where I've multiplied up. So for example, CO, I've done 198 times 2, because there are two CO in the equation. So once we do that and we've calculated it through, we get a delta S value of 141.4 joules per Kelvin per mole. Now from there, we're going to go to the delta G equals delta H, take T delta S. Always write that down. As you'll see when I show the mark allegations, that's worth a mark on its own, just for knowing the expression. Now once I do that, I can start to put my figures in. I've got my negative 60 is my enthalpy change. I've got my temperature. Now they gave it you in Celsius. You need to add 273 to that. So it's 1262. And you can see that in my delta S, I've got 141.4, but I'm not quite finished yet. Delta G is in kilojoules per mole. Delta H is in kilojoules per mole. But delta S is in joules per Kelvin. Per mole. So to go into delta G, we will always convert our delta S to kilojoules per Kelvin per mole so that they can be compared alongside each other fairly and equally. So it's divided by a thousand. Now, once I've got that, I get my delta G value, which is negative 238. And from there, you can see that there are five marks available for the calculation. One for doing the entropy calculation, one for calculating the entropy, one for the delta G expression, one for the working out, and one for the final answer. You would get full marks if you got to the final answer, but showing the working out is always recommended. Finally, the explanation for whether or not the reaction is feasible. It is feasible because delta G is less than zero.